very happy to see normal weather has returned to Qatar. Back to beautiful weather, cool day, clear skies, sun's out, lovely. Uh, it's 100 kilometers to the border. I've given myself four days to get 400 kilometers to Bahrain for New Year, but I'm not sure if I'll make it all the way to the border today. See what happens. Christmas I'm looking for discount Christmas treats where's the Christmas cake? <gasps> here we go yes. discounted Christmas cake whatever this is my this it's an absolute result Christmas cake for days Marks and Spencers I think you should know that all of these fit in here and I didn't even eat any yet. What's a waste of packaging? It's a kilo of Christmas cake right there. Essentials. I'm not climbing any hills. Back onto the Salwar Road for another 100 kilometres. There's no other way out of Qatar apart from the two long sides of an isosceles triangle. So this is it for the rest of the day. inside this McDonald's. The lights are real, but nothing else is. Just about the last of my real taken care of. Now it's just 100 kilometers down the highway. How horrifying is this abandoned park? It stands out because there is nothing old in Qatar. This is probably the oldest building in the entire country. Um, I'm about halfway um, through my day. I'm not going to get to the border, I think, today. So I'm just going to shovel a uh, sandwich down that I made from the hotel buffet breakfast the other day. And then hopefully I will get to the other side of the country and camp on the beach um, just shy of the border. Or bit more. Inshallah. On my last full day in Qatar, I'm trying to think what I've learned from 12 days in the country. 12 days obviously it's been like very world camp heavy so it's hard to get a proper handle of the country in such a short time anyway but one of the first things i noticed is that when people meet me with the bicycle i often hear oh so you're a traveler and the way they say it in that revered tone it sounds like it's you know capital t oh traveler which i quite like like it makes me sound very uh important or esteemed somehow Wish I could tell you this was the first accident I've seen in Qatar. It's not. I'm half looking forward to getting my escort back in Saudi tomorrow. As for the World Cup, I was only here for three days of it, of course, but what I experienced, except for the problems getting into the fan zone, and the last I experienced immigration, uh, the public transport, general management of crowds, it was really efficient. And even though I had to wait till half time to get my famous beer. Um, it was really nice to have a almost sober football tournament. Families told me how nice it is to be able to take small children to the game without fear. I enjoyed not being shamed by drunken English fans vomiting and starting fights. So I think there's a lot to be said for a semi-sober football tournament. subject actually the racism in some of the commentary coming out of British and Australian broadcasters from whom I expected better just does not sit comfortably against my experience on the ground here, both in Qatar and surrounding countries and I'll be interested to see if everyone is as vocal and up in arms next time around in the United States about some of their less progressive policies. There's our camps out on the way into the country. Okay. Yeah, Shukran. 
What else could my last Qatari Riel go on than my last Karak Chai in the country? It is hard in the short space of time I've been here to separate World Cup Qatar with regular Qatar, but it seems to be a place where you can get a beer and celebrate Christmas if you want, but also where the vast majority of Qataris, men and women, wear traditional attire, much like Oman in that sense. And the shopping centres are super blingy, Emirati level blingy. There's a lot of money splashing about. I had a good rest in Qatar. I enjoyed it. these tents and caravans. I don't know if people are living here or if it's some kind of out of season holiday related thing. It's a very nice campsite for me though. Done. I've tried to pick a spot with fewer tyre marks. There's loads of tyre tracks on the beach over there but here there are fewer. I'm above the um, tide mark which is essential. This is me for the night, my last night in Qatar. Whenever it's been a while and then I get back into my tent without fail, I always think, ah, home sweet home. I'm pretty excited about my Christmas cake. It just wouldn't be Christmas without turkey leftovers, which I had courtesy of Julian family and Christmas cake for a week. Happy days, Christmas accomplished.